a black cat who was rescued in a school in a desperate condition. When the rescuer finished securing him for transport to a veterinary hospital located nearby, the first thing the rescuer faced was truly shocking for them. As the doctors, people who should be responsible for taking care of those animals who had injuries on them, didn't clean the wounds or scrape off the dirt and necrosis. So it was impossible to assess the extent of the problem on the spot. It must have been greatly frustrating for the rescuer and the cat alike as they didn't do much for the poor animal. Do you think the cat would be able to receive proper medical care? And if he did, would he be able to recover? Be sure to keep watching. Given the doctor's indifference toward the cat's suffering and the severity of the injury on his mouth, the rescuer swiftly made a decision to take the poor cat to Moscow, hoping he would receive the urgent medical care he sorely needed. It was possible that sending him to the ICU was going to cost plenty of money. And thus the rescuer held a fundraising event to support his treatment. By the time the cat had finally arrived at a veterinary hospital in Moscow, the cat was quickly placed in the ICU and hooked up to IVs for pain relief and medications, including antibiotics. They planned to stabilize him as much as possible until the following day. If the cat showed positive response to therapy, a CT scan would be performed on the head to assess the extent of the injuries and to place a feeding tube. In addition, it was likely that he would need a blood donor based on the result obtained from the CT scan. A while later, the cat began to show signs of recovery, making it the very first victory he had achieved. Despite the positive progress he had made, he continued to stay under the care of the veterinarians and the rescuer as they continued to keep an eye on the cat to make sure nothing would go wrong. One could see how much he went through and his mouth injury slowly healed day by day and his strength was renewed. The cat's journey was nothing short of a miracle. From enduring unimaginable injuries to making steady progress in his recovery, he showed a resilience that continued to amaze everyone. Every day he faced his challenges head on, from being syringe fed to managing his own schedule of healing. His routine might look different now, but his spirit is stronger than ever. As we watch him savour his meals and rest between treatments, we're reminded that healing isn't just about the physical, it's about finding joy in the small moments, like a good meal or a little head rub. The cat's determined to take his recovery at his own pace and everyone is around to watch over him and to support every step he takes. Mm.
полицию. Не пойдет, вот я научился сам плакать. Да? Иди ко мне поближе. Вот так. Умница. горе в семье и долгие завтраки. Могу корешочком языка всем отлично себе помогаю. Вот мы скажем сейчас конюхой. Обязательно я скажу всегда с собой салфетки. Did you enjoy today's story? If so, please consider giving us a like, tell us what you think in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Каждый нужно дать пару вот так несколько секундочек, чтобы проглотилось все правильно. Да? Угу. Умница. Приятно. После воды казининская мокрая. Возьмите вопрос. Совершенно лучше в мире так. Thank you.